Can we expect good results in the absence of a mystical experience? Um, yes, we saw that uh, fascinating paper from David Olson and his colleagues uh, uh, on this apparent um, uh, non uh, psychedelic uh, um, uh, uh, ibogaine derivative um, that uh, seemed to have an antidepressant readout in a in an animal model of depression. Um, yeah, fas fascinating. I've got to say, I'm a bit of a skeptic about whether it will translate into humans. We'll see. I would, I think, you know, it makes sense. It'd be useful if I'm wrong here because it would uh, would be a, a nice thing and convenient if you can induce uh, a desirable plasticity and and um, you know changes in in mind and and mood states. Uh, without uh, the fireworks of a psychedelic experience that some sometimes can be you know very difficult to to tolerate can be quite unpleasant um i just doubt that it's going to translate and um i i sense that um the experience itself is part of the transformation itself that there is there are learnings that occur a fancy term, but an epistemic transformation that through the experience you now know something, you can look at things differently, you can look at yourself differently, your past, how you fell into depression or whatever your symptoms are. Um, and that's important. The experience is important. It's like, you know, a journey where you're conscious for that journey or you were knocked out, you know, at the end of the journey.